In today's video, I'm showing you some tips and tricks how to get a clean and aesthetic desktop without rain meter. And if you're interested in watching a video about this desk setup, you can check it by clicking right there or in the description below after watching this video. Hi there, my name is Felix and this is How to Creative. Let's dive right into it. Before we start, you will learn how to go from this to this. So let's start with the desktop in general. Personally, I like to remove the recycle bin shortcut from the desktop. The first tip is to quickly hide all your items from the desktop. You can do this by right clicking view and here you can change icon size, auto arrange icons or quickly hide all of your items. Most of the time I have nothing on my desktop, only a desktop folder. If I have temporary files on my desktop, for example, I can quickly drag them to this folder. To create this, right click on the desktop and click new folder. To get an empty title, copy the character in the description between the quotation marks and paste it as the name for the folder. Drag all your items into this folder and to get a clean icon, simply right click and go to properties. In here, select customize. Click change icon, choose any icon you like. I personally like the transparent arrow. You can also make the folder entirely invisible if that's something you're into. To make the item smaller, simply hold the control key and use the scroll on your mouse. I prefer to keep the taskbar as clean as possible. Right click on the taskbar and choose taskbar settings. Set lock the taskbar to off. Automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode could be turned on, but I found it a bit buggy. I do use a custom command for this on Mac though. However, I have a workaround trick for Windows that I will explain later in this video. You can choose to use small taskbar buttons, but for me those are too small. You can turn off badges on taskbar buttons to make it even more minimal, but I like to see what's going on within the few applications that I have on my taskbar. Make sure that under the Combine Taskbar buttons, you choose Always Hide Labels. Then we place the few items on the taskbar that are frequently used and remove the unnecessary ones. Next, we remove some of the features that take up a lot of space and we don't need. Right-click on the taskbar, put Search on Hidden. Uncheck all the items from the taskbar like this. Now, we clean up the icons on the right of the taskbar by dragging them into the hidden icon folder like so. Following up is a simple trick to align your icons in the taskbar in the middle. Right click on the taskbar, go to toolbars and click new toolbar. Create a new folder and call it center toolbar. Then make sure the taskbar is unlocked and drag the right all the way to the left like so. Now your items will be aligned on the right side. Drag it again to the middle where you like it. Right click the taskbar and uncheck show text and title. Right click on the taskbar again and click lock the taskbar. Now for the start button, a quick tip is that if you right click on the start button you will get a lot more features. But that's not what we're going to do. We are going to clean up the actual start page to make it look like this. So for that, right click on the taskbar and click taskbar settings again. From here we go to the start tab and only turn on show the most used apps. Now in start you can arrange your own icons and rename your sections. And you can right click on them and resize them to small. You can change the width and height and you can always quickly switch to list view to see all your applications. Now it's time to make the taskbar invisible. You can download a free little program called Translucent TB from the Microsoft Store. You can not only make your taskbar invisible, blurry, black or fluent, but you can also decide how the taskbar should respond for every different situation. For my wallpaper, I like to use Wallpaper Engine. It's around $4 in the Steam store, but 100% worth the money in my opinion. You can get access to so many community submitted wallpapers and even create your own. 
If you like to get Wallpaper Engine for free, make sure you're subscribed, like the video and place a comment below. I will announce three winners in the community tab soon. That's about it. If you're interested in a video where I talk more about productivity programs I use on both Windows and Mac, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because those videos will be popping into your inbox very, very soon. As well, thank you for watching. And as always, stay creative. See you in the next one.